Hey guys, what's going on? So, it's super late, and I'm recording a video, because... Why not? Yesterday, on Sunday, I was off, and I finished The Upside of the Unrequited Unrequ by Becky Alberti. I always, Albert, I never know how to pronounce her last name. But, oh my god, was I not disappointed with this beauty that is this book. If you don't know what it's about, it's about this girl named Molly, who is Abby's cousin from the Simon vs. the Homo Sapien Agenda. So, there's connection. And that's what I loved about this, that n even though it wasn't about the same characters, it was about a side character, and I, I learned to love her. Like, I literally, I never loved a character more than I have loved molly because i can relate to molly she brought, talked about being chubby and being on the heavier side not having boys all over her and that was me in like high school like literally that was me and i was like wow i never related so much and her moms are lesbians and i have lesbian aunts so like i totally related to that and not the same aspect but definitely like having that in my family so, it was really nice read. I literally finished it in a day. I didn't never, ever do that with any book. But normally, like, her writing, I was able to do that with Gigarella. I finished it in maybe two days, I think that was. I don't remember. But, man, this was so enjoyable and so fun for me. I loved how Simon came in a couple of times. Spoiler alert if you haven't read it. I mean, it's been out for a while. I'm shocked if you haven't already. But... I do love how Simon came into it, and he talked about Harry Potter every single time, and I was like, boy, you are the love of my life. I love you. Like, yes. And it just made me so happy. I love Reed so much. If you, um, Reed and Molly literally were everything. I hated Will since the beginning. Will did mm, mm, mm. I was not about that. And I knew that her moms weren't a fan because of the whole drinking thing, and I was like, yeah, that's gonna happen and then read and i was like oh boy yes please i love you do it when and it happened and casey uh the twin sister she was so i just there were points where she made me mad and then i understood because i have a sister too so like i totally understand the sisterly fighting kind of thing and it's like that one point when you're mad and then it's like 10 minutes later like it doesn't mean anything but this book, I just... It's going to be a really short review because I keep repeating myself. But anyway, I just related to this book so much and I'm so happy that I read it and I did. I'm kind of skeptical about Liam Offbeat. If you read it, please let me know and what your opinions were and I'll decide if I want to read it this month or next month. But I'm not sure what I want to read right now. I have City of Ghosts and I have Catwoman that I can read. So I'm not too sure what between the two. I'll probably pick tomorrow because I'm super tired and I don't want to read anything right now. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my little tiny rant, because very short, about this. Because this book is definitely one of my favorites that I've read this year. I've read eight books so far, and I just got out of a book slump. And it's such a satisfying feeling being out of a book slump. Book slump. I'm just like, I can't speak English. My God, I need to sleep. And that note, I think it's time for me to go to bed. My hair is a mess. I, it's been a long day. Work was hell. Anyway... I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!